Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. And today we're checking out Disney's Gargoyles Awakening. By Ravensburger. If you're familiar with the show, it's a cartoon, I think from the 90s, so. Yes. Uh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, it, it will appeal to, like, everybody my age, probably. Yeah, I would think so. So, um, well, I was talking to Sean about it, and um, I, I was talking to Sean and said, yeah, it's probably after our time, and he said, I still like gargoyles. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> so, um, how many players does this play? Does it play a f two to five players? Okay. Look, it's it's like in super dark oh, yeah, yeah. right it's, here on the side. Sure. You guys can't see it. But... That's okay. Um... In Gargoyles, you it's a co-op game, and you are taking on the role of one of the Gargoyles, or uh, Elisa. Is it Elisa? Is that how they pronounce her name? And so you can be Goliath, or Broadway, or Hudson, or Lexington. <laughs> These are all streets. Or Brooklyn. Are these all the streets that they're located on in the in the show? Are they? I don't know. Like, why is it their name? It's well, it's, it's the Hudson a, River. It's, Brooklyn's the the, the the well, it's a borough. In the boroughs. <laughs> Lexington, I'm not sure. Broadway is a street. Goliath, I don't Lexington know. Lexington is also a street. Yes, Lexington's a street. Uh, Matt is correct. It ran from 1994 to 1997. So, uh, in gargoyles reawakening you are trying to usually fight against um what what are their names do to do to do where is this all of them uh, i'm missing some of these this is not complete xanatos and demona oh these are mine that's why xanatos and demona at least for this reawakening episode um, there are also other episodes where you are fighting the Steel Clan along with Xanatos, and you've got the Eye of Odin uh, on there as well. Information Warfare, you're also fighting against the Steel Clan, and you'll have little data disks that you're trying to get out. Look at this. This will date the 80s and 90s right here Yeah. with the floppy disk. And Steph says, why do they call it a floppy disk? It's like it's not, not floppy, floppy. It's floppy on the inside. Just so. saying, it's not floppy. <laughs> and I've I've played games with the actual floppy ones. That that, that made sense to me. Yeah. Now, but when they put it into the hard shell, I'm like, this doesn't make sense to me. But it's not a hard disk because that's even harder. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then there's also temptation and magic where you're fighting Demona and several uh, bikers. So. Because she's enslaving the bikers and having them fight against you. Anyway, we are going to play the first uh, episode called Reawakening. Each episode has its own set of villain cards. Uh, and starting out, Xanatos has 15 health. The Mona has 10. And we have a minion, and his name is Coldstone. Uh, Coldstone sometimes fights for us and sometimes fights for the bad guys. I just wanted to point out before we get into it that the that the board is like a huge standy. <laughs> like, yeah, there are several buildings. buildings. Are like huge. Look, that's like from the show. If we're gonna have a top down. It's kind of harder to see, but just know that they're they're pretty large and in charge. That there are five different buildings. Three of them will fit inside the box. Sadly, the two largest will not fit built inside the box. So I would recommend put them on top of the game shelves if you've got any room. So, <laughs> yes. Each of the gargoyles comes with its own miniature. Um, we've got Elisa. We've got Lexington, I believe that is. Look at this. Look how cool those are. All the awesome minis. That's right. Uh, and five dice. Yeah. So um, what we are going to do um first set up the episode as it says uh on your tracker i'm gonna be goliath i've got my own set of cards steph is elisa and she has her own set of cards and we are going to try to defeat uh xanatos and demona 
and we have to have Coldstone flipped over to his blue side, which is the good good guy side, uh, not the uh, bad guy side. Is this me, Steph? This little blue one here? Yep, that's you. It's not little, it's huge. Yeah, he is yeah. He is pretty big. He's huge. Oh, spiritual warrior. Oh, no, spiritual warrior. To the stream, we're happy oh, to have you. Oh, Babs112 from YouTube. Nice. So, oh, Taka's got to drive home. So... Uh, the three and a half inch wasn't floppy. The five and a quarter, <laughs> it was bendable. But the flop, they mean the floppy disk on the end. The 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 thing that stores the data is it's floppy, floppy. Fun. which is the thing on the inside, not the shell around the outside. Right. Um, because in a hard disk, it is actually a hard metal disk. Anyway, um, so set your health to the top spot. Six health. Yep. For me. On your turn, you're going to get to do a number of actions. I get to do three actions on my turn. So um, I've got a move of two, which means I can go two spaces on the board. I've got a glide of four. So if I am going, if I'm going to be gliding from anywhere on top of a building, I get to move four instead of two. And I've got an attack of three. So anytime I am standing next to uh, a bad guy and I want to fight, I will roll three of these dice. So uh, each character also has special abilities and things that happen in the daytime. So basically, gargoyles come out at night, and during the day, they all hide and yeah, I guess they turn back to stone form and then they can heal up. <laughs> and that's what happens in this game as well. Yes. Should we look at the board? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to the overhead. Ta-da! So, as you can see, you get this great big tall building here on which uh, Xanatos is. Uh, now, there is a picture in... Uh, there's a setup picture in the rule book that has several issues with it. Um, the reawakening says to start Xanatos off right here. The example setup shows him down here. Don't follow the example setup. Just follow what it says on your little episode card here. Yep. So um, on my turn, I'm going to get to do three actions. Um, whenever uh, I move, like I say, I have to move each individual space. If I go from an area that is of lower height to one that is upper height, it takes two of my movement points. So let's say I'm gonna do a glide. I have to count each point of the glide individually. And yes, you can go diagonally. So let's say I, I'm wanting to go down to this building. It's I get four movement. So that's one, two, three, four because I'm going, you count each space individually. Uh, was, I, originally, I was thinking, oh, I'm going from here and down to here. It's lower. I have no problem to go one, two, three, four. I would have no, thought the same. No, that's not, and I, would, I also thought that. But no, that's not how it works. It's each individual step is two movement points. So uh, if I wanted to go one, two, three, I would not have enough movement to get here because I would need to have two more points of movement to jump up onto that building. Uh -huh. So, super important. Um, speaking of which, I have to make sure that I can get to Demo Demona or not. I'm gonna start out over here. Um, so, whenever I'm doing normal movement, I just get to move two. So, and you can't glide as a human, but your movement is three. Now you have a little bit easier time moving. Uh, you do not have a good time gliding. Though you can scale buildings. That's pretty pretty impressive for a human. Yeah. So um, uh, if I want to do an attack, like I say, I'm going to roll three dice. Every time I roll one of these symbols, it is going to be a hit. Anytime I roll one of these symbols, I can activate one of my special powers. Um, and I can only do that, I can only activate each special power once per turn with this, once per roll. So if I manage to roll three of these, then 
um, I would not get to activate one special power three times. Now, Goliath is a little bit special. His special power is any lightning bolts I roll may be changed to scratch, which is a point of damage. So I would think all of those can be changed to scratch. So, um, especially since mine does not have, look, you see how that has a lightning bolt next to it. My special power does not have a lightning bolt next to it. It Here's just says, nice. oh, really? So this is not going to apply to us, but keep in mind, if I were to use Brooklyn, the little lightning bolt, move one hero up to two spaces. I can only act, even if I roll three of them, I'm only going to get to activate it one time. Yep. So sometimes he, uh, heroes will get these little tokens, and whenever they do, they can then spend them to activate those special effects. We didn't ever have those when we were, when we played. We didn't get any of those uh, specials. They might be on cards or they something. Might, they they might be on special villain cards, maybe. Yeah. It's hard to tell. So there are some attacks that have the ability to stun minions. If a minion stunned, just rotate him 90 degrees. And they don't activate this turn. So basically, um, that's... There is no upright for minions. The game only comes with two plastic stands. So these uh, Xanatos and Demona, they will actually come in stands. We've got them laying down for you guys. Actually, Xanatos is not lying down because he is leaning up against the building right now. Yes. <laughs> um, some attacks have a range. Um, if there's no range on the uh, on the ability then it's assumed to be range of one, which means anywhere orthogonally or diagonally adjacent. My range is three. What? When using basic attack. Whoa. She's got, she's got a good shot. So you got a sh you've got an actual gun or something. It's, yeah, it seems like that. Nice. Um, there are also hero cards that you can play. So uh, if I want to play one of these cards, like let's say I want to play this climb, it's going to cost me one of my actions. But if I wanted to do something like slam, that's going to consume two actions. But it's going to have a different uh, number uh, on the, what is that, on the attack and the range value on these. Sometimes there is a move value on them, um, in which case, you know, you have to take that into uh, consideration. Um some of them will let you move, then attack, etc. Um, after I have done three actions, then we're going to draw a villain card, and then the villains are going to go based on what this card says. And we, if it has a moon on it, we're going to place it next to these moon things. If there are four moons and it comes time for the villains to go, it is morning, uh, and then the day phase happens. During the day phase... Let's see if I can uh, get this on here. Xanatos is going to activate. Then Demona is going to heal. Then if Coldstone is red, he's going to activate. If he is blue, we flip him to his evil red side again. And then we shuffle all the villain discard pile back into the villain deck and get that started again. Also, we're going to do our daytime effects, which is Discard any number of cards from our hand, reshuffle the discard pile to the deck, and then draw until we have three cards in hand and heal three. What well, where do you laugh at? Oh, I'm, I'm healed too. Oh, you're only healed too, because you're not a, a skill token. Oh, one of those little uh yeah. those little four-way symbols. I was laughing because uh Quaid was like, I had a huge crush on Elisa. On Elisa Mazda as a kid. Nice. She's lit. So strong and powerful. Guys like strong, powerful women, I guess. Uh, maybe so. Yeah. Best cartoon series Disney produced. There so that's is. pretty awesome. So I'm glad you can see this game. All right. I believe that is it, except for maybe some edge cases on here. Uh, I'm, I feel like I've forgotten something. Uh, you do not have to spend skill po uh, action points to activate those skills. So, uh, and you can uh, activate them during any player's hero phase. So, I think our goal right now is to try and gang up on Demona people. before she heals. Yeah. That's and that's what we did yeah, when when we played the other to my card. Yeah. 
Your person? No. Oh, it's over there. Yes. Got it. So, no. Okay. Um, oh, Xanatos and Coldstone fly. We ignore the cost of moving onto buildings. Cold, Coldstone will ignore all damage dealt to him. If we do damage to him, he flips to the blue side. No, sorry. If we do a lightning bolt, we can use a lightning bolt to flip him to his blue side. Yep. So, all that's right. super important. Are you first? Be first? Um, I don't know. Let's find out. Alexa. Alexa, flip a coin. I get three. Yes, we're fighting Coldstone ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I did you draw your three cards? I did not draw my three cards. Oh. One, two, three. 